The city of Norwalk puts on a spectacular Independence Day fireworks show for the entire community to enjoy. And this happens on July 3rd each year. While thousands turn out to take part in the celebration of music, fireworks, festivities and so much more, others might choose to have a mini light show in front of their own home. While officials say this is allowed, there are certain rules in place. Only safe and sane fireworks are allowed to be used within the city of Norwalk. Those fireworks are only allowed to be discharged July 1st to the 4th from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And those are the only ones that are allowed to be sold within the city as well. You mentioned safe and sane. What do consumers need to look for to make sure they are, in fact, buying safe and sane fireworks? All safe and sane fireworks are affixed with the seal from the state fire marshal, and that's the way that you can ensure that they are safe to use within the state and that they are legal fireworks to use within the city. Now we're here at the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, and joining me is Sergeant Andy Thompson to talk about safe and sane fireworks and why is it important, Sergeant, to buy safe and sane only from a personal perspective and from a penalty standpoint. Okay, well we need to make sure it's only safe and sane fireworks because first off, the other types of fireworks, and that's anything that doesn't have that state fire marshal seal, it's illegal. It's, you could be charged with a crime and it also fines and penalties up to $1,000 for possession of those. And also on a safety perspective, Basically, the ones that aren't safe and sane uh, are the ones that blow up, they shoot in the air, so we're talking bottle rockets, firecrackers, Roman candles, anything like that, they're dangerous. You could seriously hurt yourself or somebody else by setting those off, and that's why it's only the safe and sane that are approved for use in California. And how can people help reduce the number of illegal fireworks being sold out in the streets? Okay, well first off, don't buy them except for at a regular stand, just the regular safe and sane stands. But if you see somebody or you know of somebody that's uh, perhaps selling out of their vehicle, out of their business or their homes, you can actually call a Crime Stoppers tip line and you can give an anonymous tip as to what's going on and we'll investigate that. And if somebody's selling illegal fireworks, we can seize those and take those off the street and hopefully save somebody's finger, eye or life. Great. Now also there's another part of this and that's the loud noise it makes and it affects not only pets but people as well. That's true. Uh, a lot of these uh, explosive ones or even the, the skyburst ones, there's uh, folks out there that have different anxieties. Uh, there's small children as well. These loud noises can be very disruptive. They, they can cause panic attacks and it's just really, you know, we need to be courteous and kind neighbors and, and take into consideration other people's feelings you know, this holiday season. Let them celebrate in peace. If you go to a show, you know what you're expecting, but if you're not expecting it and all of a sudden you get these explosions going off in the street, it could really cause panic attacks. And this can be a traumatic experience for dogs and cats as well. We're here at Siaka with Donna Soriano to help explain what pet owners can do. That is very true. It can be a very frightening experience for our pets at home and we ask our pet owners to take precautions during the 4th of July weekend and be sure to keep their animals in a secure environment because they can, if they ex escape, go into a dangerous situation and can possibly inj be injured severely. We ask them to keep them in a comfortable and escapable uh, room where they can also uh, put them with a comfy bed, food and water, as well as with some familiar noises like their TV as well as music that can keep them more comfortable than hearing the frightening noises outside. So I imagine having collar with an ID tag is really important as well. It is extremely important to have a collar with a form of ID on your pets uh, because it can be its call home. It would be very uh, helpful to have personal ID on a his license or even a rabies tag. But what's uh, extremely important is to also have your animal microchipped and with the information all current and up to date. Whether if it's to protect your pets, kids, or family, officials ask you call and report any illegal firework activity taking place. For the City of Norwalk, I'm Jacqueline Twag.